Previously on Kicking and Screaming, nine teams of survivalists and total divas tried to survive the elements and each other. Gotta eat. I want that. She's a spoiled brat, man. Pizza, brownies, I want it. And I want it now. Some didn't make it to the prize challenge. Kirsten has decided to quit the game. So Roz, you are also out of the game. While others were targeted immediately. Whoa! Novice Nikisha proved to be a sure shot. Khan and Nikisha win the prize. At the elimination challenge, Brady and Claire swooped in to claim victory. Congratulations. You are safe in the game. And earned power. Seven teams compete for half a million dollars, but who will the jungle claim tonight? On Kicking and Screaming. So coming back to camp after the elimination challenge was exciting, but we also had to make the decision about who we want to put into the next elimination. Well, congratulations, you guys. Yeah, congrats. Well, well done. Well, well done. You got to be stoked. It's not all glory. We have power now. Who do we choose? When I saw Claire and Brady come back, emotionally, I could feel like he had like a vendetta because I hit his plate in the challenge. which is working against us. <sighs> Angelica, you want to take a moment? Yeah, let me come right now. I've not told anybody in the camp that I'm skilled in psychological warfare and that I'm a ninja. I'm confident that my ninjanuity and my engineering can be used to assess other people, their weaknesses and their strengths really well. The ninja kind of have all types of tricks to deal with this. I have these mantras that you can say to bring about certain strengths and certain powers. We're going to work on fire, calling oh. forth connected, very preemptive energy. I'm always willing to try anything once. I, I feel like I have the best survivalist of the whole group. Hakeem and I's unspoken power, it starts taking over your mind. Breathe it out. Think power. We're drawing from the Earth's energy, and then we're then releasing it. Think that passion, that desire, that preemptiveness. Take a deep breath in. That ability to make things happen. Push it out into the world. What is that? That is our fire energy. Yeah, I would call that the special ninja <laughs> um, uh, telepathy. High five. <laughs> Terry's a Boy Scout master, and he takes that seriously. I mean, I know he's representing everything, but, um, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I, I was, <laughs> I was kind of done with that when I was a little kid, you know what I mean? I don't only wear my Boy Scout uniform proudly out here. I wear my Boy Scout uniform proudly in my heart. I'm proud of it, man. I'm proud of it. I mean, <laughs> I, I gotta eat something. Okay. Resources have become very scarce where we are. We've gone through all of our taro plant. We've gone through pretty much everything in the entire area. So wait, larva's worm? Yeah, it's, I think they're fly larvae. Like Butterfly. Oh. I think I'm definitely on my way to being an Olsen twin at this point. I'm still not there yet, but I feel like I'm definitely, you know, starving myself to perfection. That's it? That's it. You just eat it. Eat off your knife. You're gonna stab me in the mouth. Be, be like crazy. The jungle diet is one part starvation, one part water weight loss. Oh, dead, right? Really then there's a dash of eating bugs. I don't know if I like this. The bug? It's like a bug. It's like the ones we yeah. eat by accident anyway. Might as well. Yeah. Getting food is probably my priority. <laughs> Literally all I talk about, I think 80% of the day is food. I'm like, oh, fried chicken, oh, burritos, oh, french fries. Wait, what is that? 
Hey, guys. Oh, boy. What do we got? Right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Pack up light. You're moving camps after a nutty prize challenge. See you at the river. Uh oh After a go. nutty prize challenge. Go. Hallelujah. <laughs> We're moving. We got the spirit. Hey. No one can say no. Come on. No one can say no. <laughs> Woo. I am so glad to be leaving this place. I just want to get out of here. I have to have my orange, because we're team orange. Remember what I said, ounces are pounds, and pounds are pain. So we need to drop like 90% of that. So this is a yes, 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 yes. This is a yes, yes. Why do you need two swimsuits? Yes, because I'm a girl and I need choices. Oh, the struggle is real with having to leave behind my stuff. No more. This is what I'm taking. <laughs> uh, one piece swimsuit? Because you can't always wear two piece. She packed like six bathing suits. <laughs> and they're pretty small. So they don't take up a lot of size, a lot of space. So I just thought... put them in there, we'll find a useful one. No. No, no, my bikinis are expensive. There is no way we're making anything out of my bikinis. No, no. We'll see. Natalie, are you gonna bring your books? I'm gonna try to, yeah. Nope. I have room for them. There's so much room in here. And as a professional gamer, I'm used to being my own boss, taking direction. It's a little difficult. We come from two different worlds. I'm a Boy Scout. I'm used to leading. How do you make that work? Done talking right now. I'm just gonna pack. I don't need you hovering over me. Hey, you guys ready? Yep. Let's do it. Let's make like hockey players and get the puck out of here. Get the puck out of here? That's cute. We are so excited to move camp, but first, I'm ready for the challenge. Bye! Bye, camp! Can't wait to see where we're going next. Hi guys. Hey. Welcome teams. Thanks. Glad to be here. It's gorgeous. My gosh. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? That's insane. So last week, Brady and Claire, you survived elimination and came back to camp with power to send one team to elimination. Brady and Claire, who have you selected to go to the elimination challenge? Since my expertise was sought out for very first, last challenge, and I didn't get to compete. Hakeem, love you, man. I but, knew uh, it. Sorry, guys. Hakeem no, and Angelica. It. I feel it's not a strategic choice, it's just a get back choice. We're supposed to be playing a game on strategy, but he's playing a game on, you know. Pouting and pout yeah. back. <laughs> so, You're going to suffer. What do you want to say, Brady? This was a strategic and a kind of a, hey, man, you pick me, I'll pick you. Game on. All right, Angelica Hakeem, come join me down here. Unfortunately, you will not be able to participate in today's prize challenge. The winner of today's prize challenge will enjoy the ultimate VIP treatment while they spend the night. Oh, baby. In one of the most sought after destinations in the world, an exclusive private island resort. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. And while the winners are enjoying their private island resort, the rest of you will be setting up camp. When you start depleting your resources, it's time to move. This challenge is all about taking the necessities and moving them. In this case, coconuts. Each team must find their color in that bamboo pile and build a raft. You must load it up with at least 50 pounds of coconuts. Then you will race down river through the rapids where you will find then your team scale on the shore. If you find yourself with less than 50 pounds of coconuts, you can unlock a crate where you'll find more. But it will take up valuable time. First team to weigh in 50 pounds of coconuts will win today's prize. The last team will head to the Elimination Challenge and face Hakeem and Angelica. And one of those teams will be going home. Throw the pole down. 
I'll start with that. <laughs> Nikisha, my partner. I think I have more work cut out for me with her because of the little things and the drama. It's got to be nipped in the bud. Now, the best way to grab coconuts is just a big scoop. OK. We need to get at least 30. They're about a pound and a half each. 30 should do it. All right, teams, go! It looks like Elaine and Natalie are the only novices going for coconuts first. Count. This is madness. It's bamboo mayhem right now. Oh, 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 sorry! Oh, that's bad. I'm bleeding pretty bad. Really? Oh, I do. My fingertips are sliced up. Is it bad, bad? It's just fingertips. Matt, need your help. Still not fitting. I think this may be enough. Wrong one, wrong end. Yeah, what are you... Oh, come on. So, Terry's a Boy Scout. Canoes are kind of a specialty of theirs. And he can't put the raft together. Come on. He's got the wrong peg in the wrong side. And I'm getting pissed because I don't want to lose. There we go. Yeah. You go work on the other side. Or we can't be last. Everybody's trying to be the first on that water. Get our bag. I definitely respect his authority and his expertise. And it's just a matter of listening to Jason's coaching. Jason and Elaine are the first to hit the water. Come on, Tammy! Second team in the water are Terry and Natalie, and Ben and Juliana are right behind them. We can catch up to Orange. I need your back. Good. Brady and Claire just hit the water in fourth place. Go, you got it. I know you can do it. Come on. Tamara and Max are making their way into the water. Hop on. Hold on, let me count real fast. No, we gotta go. But I couldn't get her to listen to simple instructions. That's really what cost us time. Come on, Keisha, that's enough, let's go! Let's go! John and Nikisha are in last place. Move forward, crawl forward. More, more. Move forward. are the first ones at the rapids. Terry and Natalie are right on their tail, followed by Ben and Juliana. This is so close. Jason, tell me what to do. Did you just hang on. They're behind us. I look back and I see Natalie and Terry. They're right, right on us. And I was completely out of breath. My steam was running out. They'll be tough to beat. Come on, Terry, don't lose the boat. Ben and Juliana are catching up to Terry and Natalie. We're losing coconuts. Keep going, keep going, you keep going. Ben and Juliana just passed Terry and Natalie, taking second place. Are you kidding me? We're losing coconuts, so it's good. You have to steer me. Push me forward. I can't do everything. You have to do something. I am doing a lot. That does not help. She is used to being in command of her own domain. You know, nobody tells Natalie what to do. But when it comes to survival, I expect her to listen to me. No. Steer me. I can't steer you. You have to pass. Oh, I'm going backwards. Put that last one in. Jason and Elaine. 
you have won the prize challenge. It was a close, close race. Good job. There is no way that that just happened. We won. Yeah. Because of that last coconut. <laughs> Sorry, my, my breath stinks from not brushing my teeth for I some don't days. get it, damn. <laughs> Perry and Natalie are the third team to hit the scales. Do they have enough coconuts? No, not enough. Run over to that box. We need more. A celebration going on, but a race is still happening. You do not want to be last. Terry and Natalie do not have enough coconuts with them, so they're running to those crates. Oh, my ankle. That is a football field away. How fast they can get back here may determine their fate in this challenge. The race did not be last. Team Yellow showed up with a bunch of coconuts. Just don't have to get last, OK? Yeah. And right behind them is Tamara and Maxwell in fifth place. <laughs> just kill them about. John and Nikisha are just puttering away. Stay steady. Come on, Ty, to be on our side. OK. Stay level. Stay oh. level. We're in the last place team. Am I going to do everything I can not to lose? Of course. But at the end of the day, we're a team. And you're only as strong as the weakest link. Oh, oh, oh. Girl, you're leaning. You're leaning. I was going straight. You're leaning. Let's just, let's just get off. I want to get off. Come on, Tammy. Go. Uh, ha, 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 funny. Funny joke. There's, oh, co wait. there's coconuts, there's coconuts. Brady and Blair have finished in third place. We just put your arms out like this. Wait. Run with coconuts. Go. Maxwell running up with a coconut in his mouth. And oh. Tamara Woo. and Maxwell finish in fourth Woo. place. It is now between Terry and Nat. Keisha and John. Let's go. Let's go. You got it. Terry and Natalie now dropping a whole bunch of coconuts. So close. You better run. You are up for elimination if you don't get those coconuts back fast enough from that crate. You got to hustle Team Purple. John checking out this scale. You've got about a third of the way to go. We need like two more coconuts, Terry. Toss them to me. Go, go. Natalie and Terry are head to head with John and Nikisha. Could this do it for the Aqua team? Let's see. Yes, it does. John and Nikisha, you are second from last place. You barely escaped the elimination challenge. Terry and Natalie, you're heading to the elimination challenge. How are you feeling right now? Not good. Disappointed. What happened? We actually could have gotten in the water first, but. We weren't working together. Then this part right here was, I mean, I called for him to throw me coconuts, but he wouldn't, he just handed them off to me. I didn't think you'd catch him and pick him up in time. I was close enough to you. But no reason to be doing blame. That doesn't help anything. Well, you guys are not out of the game yet, though. You're just heading to the elimination challenge, and you could come back as the most powerful team in the game. OK, I'm going to go over and talk to these kids. Jason and Elaine. So you guys are yeah. going to head off oh my to a private island resort. Wow. And the VIP treatment is going to start right now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going to get to leave. <laughs> I really did call a lot, of, a lot of things that you didn't do. I was pissed. Well, and, and you messed up the turning around. We can, I did not we can, mess up the turning around. You were you paddling. Did. You're not going to accept responsibility for anything. It's I'm okay. not saying I'm not responsible for any of this, it's Terry. All right. Terry, look, it was right here. I'm not going to argue with you anymore, man. It's, it's not. So it's now pointless. you don't want to argue. It's pointless. Mark Twain said, never argue with a fool because it's hard to argue okay. to see who's right. All right. We can throw things in around the water, all the way. After the challenge, we're all hanging out. Kicking and screaming! It's very refreshing and nice 
to have kind of a moment to just enjoy your experience. Boys are having boy time all day. Yeah. Are you one of the girls now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm an independent island. Yeah, he is. He's very independent. One thing that sets Angelica and I apart from Terry and Natalie is we're on the same wavelength. We're working really well together. We haven't had any breakdowns or arguments. I think we have a really strong chance to win. I'm going to listen to you. I'm not going to talk over you. I'm also not going to call you names like you've done to me, because that's extremely embarrassing and rude. What name did I call you? You called me a fool. I quoted somebody else. If you're arguing you with somebody else, You insinuated. Enough. Don't okay, insinuate. Okay, you, you just said you weren't going to talk over, and you just did. I need you to not talk down to me. All I can think of that we can do is spend some time apart. That's always wisdom. Seeing Terry and Natalie kind of have a tiff at the end, I was thinking, hmm, there may be an even stronger opportunity, because if they can't come together, that's going to work against them, and then that's going to give us an advantage. I think Julie Allen's actually a pretty cool girl. Would you ever think about dating her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. She's funny. She's smart. She's driven. There's not much to nitpick at. Juliana's the kind of girl that I would go for. But hey, we can hope. Separated. Everybody can I know. hear. We get along. We tease each other. We laugh. And we get each other's jokes. And uh, we're friends. We're friends. You know, I can hook him up with one of my girlfriends back home if he wants. <laughs> we're friends. So I'm. I'm Really, I didn't come here to find a romantic connection. If it, if, it, if it were to happen, that's cool. But that's that's not my goal. My goal is to win. crying, thinking, oh, yes, please help me. I've been in the jungle, you know. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to having a luxurious experience here. What? Look at this palapa. Oh, my gosh, this is a house. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Should we pop open some champagne? I don't know. Do you know how to open a champagne bottle? My husband, you're I oh, own a duh, bar. you own a bar. Hello. OK, yeah. Myself and two other Marines and my mom pulled the money together and we opened Brass House in Austin. Oh, opa! Oh no. Oh my gosh, you're such a guy. <laughs> Jason and I are the perfect partners because he's actually kind of an extension of my husband. And so being here is uh, just another step to bond us as a team. We're going to get recharged. Yeah. This is a little bit better than building shelter and scavenging for food today. Oh, gosh. We're not in the jungle, and it feels good to sit, and it feels good to know that I can take a shower. I can't even begin to imagine what everybody else is doing back now at camp. We're moving, so, you know, I'm super, super excited to go anywhere. But if I had to pick, I would really love, love, love to go to the beach. Looks like we're here. Oh, how lovely. I'm just like, ah. You all worked before. You all know what you do best, so keep the same teams. We're going to have to designate a bathroom area, and I can tell you. Oh, that better be over here. We're on the edge of the clearing. Do not go right out behind your hooch. Go away from this area if you're going to or Your lean-to should face the fire, and I'm going to tell you why. So sun up and sun down, you don't get direct sunlight into your shelter. Sunlight's going to be a problem here. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be hot. The fact that it's hotter here is a bad thing, because first hot day of summer in any major cities is the most murders you'll have all year. 
I'm gonna go ahead and chop this right now. It's so easy to just throw in the towel or wanna feel like I'm done here. I'm so done, I can't deal with the hunger, the, the stress, maybe a certain person. Terry, can I use your knife while, we, while you use the machete? When you're arguing with somebody, sometimes you just need to walk away and take some breaths and come back to it. Maybe not. This just sucks. Oh. You all right? No. Why not? I don't want to live here. It's not long. Yeah, right. That was almost long as hell. Help. Every day we have one to two childlike outbursts. Dealing with a spoiled child is wearing me out. I gotta put up with things that I wouldn't put up from one of my teenagers. They know better. You're poopy again. Well, that can happen. Look where we are. <laughs> we came up with a really great hashtag. It's called the Nikisha Meltdown hashtag. So uh, we have shirts. Well, we don't have them yet, but we will. So stay tuned. <laughs> Get I'm over yourself, 25. let's get back to work. I've been working, what are you talking about? Why don't you switch not... partners then? You're always talking to everyone else anyways. What? Yeah. Or Whatever. Quit then. I you don't might. like it, quit. Well, I might. Quit or shut your mouth. Well, don't talk to me like that, you're not my dad. Quit then. You're well, having your temper tantrums. A... Quitting this bitch. I'm leaving. Nope. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm telling you right now, I'm leaving. You got it. You're having your temper tantrum. A... I'm leaving. I'm telling you right now, I'm leaving. Keisha, don't leave. Keisha, don't. Nikisha's like my inner diva. I think she is suffering a little growing pains right now. I think we're both here to really improve ourselves and become more responsible. And it's hard. Don't let somebody push you out of the game. I don't give a just Like, so don't act like I'm sitting here being lazy or something when I've been helping not. the whole time. Yeah. Like, he's just so unappreciative. And he's no, like, oh, you're being poopy. Okay, well, excuse me. I'm sorry that you live like this. I'm not a swamp man. I don't do this every day. I just, whatever you just don't quit. Okay. I mean, it will depend on John. Nikisha is the type of personality where she's gonna tell you exactly what she thinks, so that might rub some of the survivalists the wrong way because they're all just work, 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 group think, group think, group think. We're not used to this. And then look, five, five paces this way. Um, I'd probably go down the trail or something. So you wanna cut a main beam first? I've been incredibly patient and I've played along the whole time. I've tried not to enable her. The only thing I haven't done is yelled at her. So hopefully this is the wake up call she needs to get her head in the game all the way. In the long run, you will never look back and say, I regretted being the bigger person or regretted making the first olive branch or whatever you want to call it. Cause you never know. This could be your decision right here for all the money or not. Have your feet fixed? Yeah, <laughs> and I want you to have yours fixed too. Taking care of yourself is important. I do, so that I can preserve my body, you know. Believe it or not, I'll actually be 50 years old next year. How old? 50. You're not 50. Almost, next year I'll be 50 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I was absolutely shocked when I found out that she is pushing 50. Yeah, absolutely. baby, black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Have you told anybody? No, I haven't told him, and I'm not going to because I would definitely be treated differently and it could be a disadvantage. I look at an environment like this and I feel, I feel blessed to be here. Yeah, this is a blessing. Our trip to the island is refreshing and we're getting to know each other more and more, which is what we need to help us win this game. People ask me why I decided to do this whole crazy adventure. Mm -hmm. 
And it was something, it was a renewal of my spirit. Okay. The hardest thing I've ever done in my life was to hold my mom's hand and tell her that you're going to die. Oh. After she died, I uh, just dove into the bar head on. Right. She was there from day one. She wanted me to get out of the Marine Corps so bad. So mm -hmm. she cleaned the refrigerator, she mopped the floor, she oh. cleaned the bathrooms. And so my heart and soul's in that place. Yeah. So we almost went out of business last year because we just don't have the funds to keep it going. It's not really in my nature to share with people, but I think it was important for her to really know the reason why I'm here. With the struggling business, I need to win to keep it open. For Elaine and myself, I think it's important that as we grow together that I continue to share certain aspects of my life with Elaine so that you know we just continue to build a deeper bond. Let's do a toast to mothers. Okay. And then let's eat. Okay. <laughs> Here's to mothers. Toast to mothers. John. Yeah. First, I will say I do apologize for being negative but let's just have a conversation about the thing so it doesn't happen again. If, if I got poopy like you do, we wouldn't be in this game right now. I mean, that's true, because you're more, you know, imperative to this than I am. Like, I'm the novice. I'm not putting up with that anymore. Maybe your parents put up with you stomping your foot and getting your but way. But I don't feel like I did all Hold that, on. John. Yeah, you've been doing that every day. Every step of the way, you're fighting to be the same person. Nikisha and John still fighting. I it's really done moving, it, or but you're like, it's taking forever. Say it like an I mean, I'll try not to have Instead it. Of it like, new I cannot do this alone. I know. I cannot win this alone. Are you serious right now? You have to choose. You're either all in or you're all on. Mm. Have I ever said, Oh, shelter? Well, you know, I guess maybe it's just gonna rain a little bit. No, I build shelter, I build shelter. I get food, I get food. This is survival. I'm You're gonna learning. have to say it. I'm you, noticing. You will control yourself, say it. I will control myself. Like I've never been in a really stressful environment or had a really stressful situation. So if I haven't experienced it and this is the first time, like, I feel like my reactions are normal, you know? So it's not that I'm spoiled. Like, everything I've ever had, I've worked for. I paid for my school. I did everything. So I just don't want you to think I'm really spoiled, because I'm really not. And I really am trying. That's all. OK. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, we got it. I need more water. OK. I'm gonna give you a massage, so lay down. Mm. Just a bit of, you Hallelujah. know. Hallelujah. Going into this elimination challenge today, I just want him to be relaxed. If there's any tension or anything, I just want it to all, you know, go away so that he can just be present. Just stretch you. <laughs> I can kind of stretch you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Going up against a strong team who have great teamwork and are so in sync with each other is tough to think after Terry and I are sitting here not getting along. It's not a great thought going into the elimination challenge. There. Better? Man. <laughs> like magic. Welcome to your elimination challenge. Yeehaw. Hey. <laughs> well, so far, the jungle has claimed three teams, and today, one more will go home. But the winner will return to camp with extraordinary power and be one step closer to half a million dollars. Yeah. Woo. Terry and Natalie, last time I saw you, a little frustrated with each other. How do you guys plan to turn that around today? You know, we both have similar goals. We could figure out a way to work together with our personalities to make that happen. Get it out there. You know, go through the storm and rock and roll. Hakeem, 
Angelica, how did you prepare for today? We just align together, because I'm, I'm there and he's there, and then we just align it together, and we talk, and then we meditate it, and that's all you can do, you know, is just be our, be our best today. Wow. Today's elimination challenge is called Hug It Out. Sometimes survival means hanging on for dear life. So if you want to hang on to your chance at half a million dollars, you're going to have to hang on to each other. You'll start at the top platform on your rope, and then after five minutes, you'll move down to the lower and much smaller platform. First team to fall will be eliminated and will be going home. Oh my God. The winning team will return to camp with power. Wow. All right, teams, climb your rope. Imagine going into that hugging challenge while we're fighting. You know, the tension is certainly in the air, but you've got to have the can-do attitude coming in. Teams, are you ready? Yep. yep. All Fight. right, your five minutes starts now. Nice and calm, nice and calm. Talking to each other actually helps. We're just hugging each other. Mm -hmm. And relax. Mm -hmm. Just focus. We're not even on a rope right now. So how you doing, that? Doing pretty good. Yeah. Hey, you want to hang out in the jungle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's hang out in the jungle together. Those hugs look nice, actually. Can be lonely out in the jungle. In most situations, it would be very awkward to be that close and hugging someone. But I think we knew what we had to do. And if that means hugging, holding on his back, or whatever, we were willing to do it. It's 100 degrees out here. Humidity is so high right now. The sun is coming in. We gotta watch our hands are getting wet. That's gonna be our trouble. This is helping. I think this is helping. This is helping. What are you doing, Terry? Throwing off the hands. One minute left. So at the end of this one minute, you will have 30 seconds to move down to your lower platform. It is much smaller. This transition is going to be the thing that, that's going to make or break. So we have to have good communication, mm -hmm. good focus. Mm -hmm. We'll take our time, OK? Good idea. Five, four, three, two, one. Your 30 seconds to move down to that lower platform starts now. Oh, one. Where is your left three? Yeah. Right foot. Nope, nope. Right. Stand by. Stand by. Yeah. Yep. Wait, you might need to hold on with her. Your 30 seconds to move down to that lower platform starts now. One, two, three. Stand by, stand by. Go. Wait, you might need to hold on one second. Lay your right foot on my. Okay. Nope, nope. Right. Stand by, stand by. Uh -huh. All right. You okay? Mm -hmm. Come on down. Yeah, this one's smaller. I like it. Let's get a good old hug going. Mm -hmm. Come on, Half a million dollars at stake. Okay. All right, now you just gotta hang out. The first team to fall will be going home. This is where it starts to get really tough. Sweat is becoming a really big factor in this challenge right now. This is a gross ass challenge, let me tell you. <laughs> 12 minutes in, guys. That sun is really beating down. You okay? Nope. No? Is that pushing into you now? It's pushing. I don't care about that. I'm going to have to switch out with your feet. OK. We're holding on for dear life, and I'm trying to get to a position where I can let my arms kind of relax. So I'm asking Angelica to move here, move there, so that I can get that adjustment. But so much sweat coming down, and it's really hard to recover from. Whoa, man. Every line, time you move, right? it just kills. Oh, I'm so sorry. When somebody's foot is digging into yours, that can be painful. When she was shifting on my feet, baby, it came through. It came through loud and clear. You guys are at 30 minutes. Do you want to readjust? Let's readjust. Yeah, let's see. Well, let's try the hands first. 
You see how I'm holding the rope? Mm -hmm. I need you to hold it like that. The red team's disc is almost at a 45 degree angle right now. Oh, that's not our team. No? You want to stay? I think no, we should. No, no, I think we must be doing okay. You know what, let's just, let's just try it. In the last prize challenge, I was a little frustrated because Terry wasn't taking cues from me. But at that moment, I'm like, Terry, anything you need me to do, I'll do. Two totally different strategies going on right now. Team Red keeps repositioning. Hakeem and Angelica just trying to find that spot. Don't turn. OK. Just lift okay. your foot. Which one? Right foot first. OK. OK. Hold on. Oh, Angelica has lost her grip. She's sliding down. Hakeem is trying to pull himself up. She does not want to touch that mud. Ah. We're out there. Oh, We're my God. Team Purple, Carrie and Natalie, the winners. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> A team united. Oh, my God, girl. Oh. I'm freaking out. I really am. I could not believe it. Because, again, this was so important that, that we together won this thing that I am just totally freaking out. Carrie and Natalie. I mean, you guys feel like the comeback kids right now. The last yeah, time yeah. I saw you, you weren't even on speaking terms. Yeah. Oh, we were speaking. It was loudly. It was loudly. You were on screaming terms. Yeah. All right, so you guys get to head back to camp. You now have power to send one team to next week's yeah. elimination challenge. All right, guys, congratulations. Head back to camp. Yeah, baby. All right. <laughs> So Angelica, what's the greatest thing that you've learned about yourself being part of this game? Um, that I can get dirty and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like it. So yeah, I mean, I, I like right now, I'm in my element. I love it. I mean, you guys have fought so hard, but a slip off that rope ended your journey here. Mm. Yep. yep. Your time in the jungle has ended. Well, thank you for the opportunity, jungle. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity, see you Hannah. Again. <laughs> and see you again. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs> I am a ninja in training. Is there such thing as a ninjessa, like something feminine? They call it kunoich. Oh, what? I'm a kunoich? Yes. <laughs> I am a kunoich in training. <laughs>